These 100-year-old baseball cards are blowing my mind. I just picked up a few from my personal collection, and let me tell you about it. So we're probably all familiar with New York City today and what it looks like with you know, modern cars, modern technology and everything, but if we could go back 100 years when these tobacco cards were being made for baseball and really think about what America looked like and would be like then, it would actually look a little something like this. Now this is a Technicolor video of real footage from New York City in 1911. This is a time before radio or television, before the traffic light was invented, bras and zippers hadn't been invented, there were no toasters, no band-aids, <clears throat> no bubble gum to put in your packs, no scotch tape, the beer can hadn't been invented, nor the frisbee or velcro. And here you can see this cigar shop. I imagine someone went into a tobacco store looking for a tobacco product and inside that pack was a baseball card. And somehow that baseball card over a hundred years has made it to me. Now, even an SGC one or two isn't the best quality card. These are not the most valuable cards, nor are they the most collectible players. But the fact that this card survived over a hundred years, like look at this kid's impressed by it. Um, and made its way to me in better condition than some of the cards I collected as a kid is mind-boggling. Here's another one that I got. This is a 2.5 uh, SGC. Um, it's got a little bit of crease in it, but these are gorgeous, gorgeous looking cards that just hold in history from a hundred years ago. I can't even believe like what was the journey this took to make it to me here today. And here's the last one I just picked up. So. I'm sort of blown away, you know, baseball is special in that it has such a long history um, and goes back over a hundred years um, that we can have baseball cards this old um, that I'll probably pick up a few more. And if you have a chance, I totally recommend you get some of these. Um, in fact, I'm considering making some available on the website for those who are interested. Um, head on over to sportscardsedge.com. I'll do my best to keep picking some up for you. Bye.